So, degree of segregation or micro mixing, this is what, what we have been discussing yesterday. And uh, we also uh, for, uh, yeah, then we took a batch reactor and also uh, ideal plug flow reactor and then we found that whether you have microfluid or macrofluid, there is no, yeah, same conversion, there is no difference. So, whenever you have batch reactor and plug flow reactor, if you have microfluid or macrofluid, does not matter, right. And then we went to mixed flow reactor and then we again started thinking about microfluid and macrofluid. Microfluid is the one which you have already done and we know the equation for first order, second order or even third order. If I have mixed flow reactor, microfluid. Microfluid is the one with individual molecules and all that. Okay? So, that is the one. And uh, uh, th then we went to macrofluid. Macrofluid, it behaves differently because the molecules are not communicating with each other. Each packet only stays some time and the conversion in that packet depends on how much time it has spent inside the reactor and RTD gives me that information, how many packets, how much time. Right? How many packets means, it is the fraction of material between time t and t plus delta t is E t d t. In that E t d t, I have let us say 10 percent of the uh, fraction. So, in that 10 percent of the fraction, I will have maybe millions of packets, because packet sizes are very, very small. I, mean, I am saying this big, but it is never. right? So, that is why. Then we wrote the, the segregated uh, fluid design expression. Okay, What was that? This is C A bar by C A naught. This is averaging only 0 to infinity C A by C A naught batch E T D T. Right? So, this is C A by C A naught batch is the one which uh, I can imagine my packets are uh, batch reactors and those batch reactors are spending some time and that time will be given by this E T D T. So, uh, correspondingly now I can find out this uh, you know uh, the conversion in a segregated fluid. Okay? So, microfluid ideal uh, P F R I mean ideal M F R ideal P F R all that we know how to write the balance that is also no problem. Good. So, then for second order reaction we have uh, developed an equation for n equal to 2. I just gave that uh, integral expression before leaving. Yeah, this is 1 by t bar, correct? Huh? T bar m. T bar or t bar m I written this? Okay, t bar. Okay. So, then 0 to infinity and uh, for second order reaction, we you know, yeah, the, but uh, for E t, it is an ideal M f r. Okay. This is for M f r. P f r and all that, we said there is no change between microfluid and microfluid. That is why only for this, we are derive an e equation n equal to 2. So, this is e power minus t by t bar divided by 1 plus k c a naught t into d t. Right? So, this, this cannot be integrated. So, only thing is it has to be transformed into the form of exponential integral. Okay? So, exponential integral is defined as e of i x, we have already done once is x to infinity, I may have minus t by t d t. If I am able to convert this format into this format, right? so then I have an exponential integral and depending on the value of x there, because e a x. Right? If this x equal to 2, that means the value depends on only on lower limit. If x equal to 2, I will go to my mathematical tables and then see what is the value of x equal to 2. Right? And the latest uh, edition of Levin's PL, he also given uh, you know expansion x equal to, uh, I mean you can substitute for any x and then calculate. He has given an equation also in that. Right? Okay. So, otherwise tables are available, then you can just go and read that. So, now our idea is to convert this into this format. So, the first thing what we do here is, let alpha equal to 1 by k c a naught t bar. In fact, this is inverse of Damkola number, right? Yeah. So th th this is the one. Now, now let us say that we have k c a naught t. This also can be written as one plus k c a naught t bar by theta, where theta equal to yeah t by t, t bar. Okay. So I just multiplied and divided by t by t bar. 
divided by t bar and multiplied by t bar. So, that became theta, right. So, now uh, uh, th this equation is also nothing but 1 plus theta by alpha, correct, no? Alpha is this definition and that is also equal to alpha plus theta by alpha, okay. So, uh, did I give any equation numbers earlier? For this, you, no, no, no. Ah, okay. Then I think you put this one one, this one two, and uh, this one three. Okay, good. So now let us also take because I have to convert this. You know, the entire thing is now to convert this equation into exponential integral. That's why, right? So now let us also take alpha plus theta as uh, alpha plus t by t bar. And now let us differentiate this. Uh, okay, okay, also equal to x. <coughs> and let me differentiate this. So uh, if I differentiate this, d of alpha theta equal to how much? Yeah, this also. D of alpha alpha is a constant. Please remember. Correct? No. It's a constant value. When I do that, what I get here is d theta by, okay, I will write here, d theta, uh, this is equation number 4, yeah, d theta equal to, yeah, d theta equal to d t by t bar, right, good. So, now, substitute uh, all these values here, alpha, okay. So, you substituting equation 3, 4 and 5, this is this if I take as 5, what do you get? Can someone quickly tell? C a bar by C a. Substituting equation 3, 4, 5 in 2. Three, four, five in 2. Huh? Got it. No, I did not bring your notes, sir. Ah, you have notes? Okay. But yesterday also we have told it here. Yeah, someone quickly. Okay, I will write. Maybe slightly difficult for you. Let me write that you know I have uh, alpha, e alpha e power minus alpha theta divided by alpha theta into d of alpha theta. I added here e power alpha and uh, minus alpha because here I have only t by t bar, right. So, I multiplied by the d by t bar is nothing but theta that is no problem e power minus theta. Then I added minus alpha and also multiplied by plus alpha. So, that that will become 1, right. So, that manipulation, why all that manipulation is only to get this. Now, I also told you alpha theta equal to x and alpha e power alpha is it constant? Yeah. So, they, they will come out. So, I will have here alpha e power alpha uh, limits I will just put there. Then we have uh, this is minus x by x dx. Okay? Now, uh, taking here the lower limit when uh, t equal to 0, theta also 0, then that will be lower limit will be alpha, lower limit will be alpha. <coughs> Upper limit anyway, theta in infinity also. Okay. So, now you do not have to take this one, when theta equal to 0, x equal to alpha because x so everything is written in terms of x no these are x right so when theta equal to do not you need not uh, worry about that one now theta equal to 0 x equal to alpha that is the lower limit so theta equal to infinity what is x uh, x x value also infinity yeah oi also infinity yeah so now this is an exponential integral for us so what is the solution for this the, um, this entire thing is definition of uh, exponential. So, we have 
a of alpha. So, that is what is the conversion in a segregated fluid second order MFR. Right? So, if I now tell what is the value of alpha, alpha is nothing but 1 by Damkohler number. Right? If I say that Damkohler number equal to 1, 1 by alpha also equal to 1, uh, the Damkohler number. Yeah. So, then you will have 1 e power 1 and e i 1, e i 1 value I have to get from, right. Okay. So, if you see Levin's PL, I think I will write also that one for the sake of completeness. Yeah. So, e i x is given as, yeah, of course, integral is same thing, x infinity e power minus t by t d t, because these are uh, limits. So, any variable I can put there, because this is definite integral. No? So, that is why. Then uh, we have the values minus 0 0.57721 minus ln x plus x minus x square by 2 into 2 factorial plus, I think I have given you this one earlier also but I am sure you will not remember that minus etcetera. So, now if x equal to 1, you can substitute x there and then calculate what is x. Otherwise, tables are given, directly you can go to the tables and then get it. Okay? Good. So, this is what? Now, if I say that I have alpha equal to 2, that means, uh, dam color number equal to 0 0.5. Dam color number equal to 0 0.5, I have the values here. What is the conversion? C A by C A naught. I will also give you that values. Oh. Good if I have alpha equal to 2, that means alpha equal to 1 by k C A naught T bar, okay, that is equal to 2. So, that means, dam column number equal to half. right? If I have that value, how much is that? I think I can also give you the value of uh, E of I 2 is 0.04 0.0489. The other values you, you, you can check. By the way, what is that you have to calculate? Yeah, C A bar by C A naught in equation uh, 6. That is what, what you have to calculate. Yeah. Huh? 0.7? Excellent. So, C bar A by C A naught equal to 0.7. 2, 2, 6 and x a equal to? Yeah, 0.2774. So, we are now talking about macro fluid that is there in ideal mixed flow reactor. So, now we have to compare this with micro fluid. What is the equation for micro fluid? What is the equation for micro fluid? Micro fluid is the fluid which you have already done in your B tech. Mixed flow, we are only talking about mixed flow reactor. Yes, you cannot say easily because it is a second order reaction, it is quadratic. Right? So, for macro for micro fluid, okay. Otherwise, you will never forget, you, you, you will never remember, you know. <laughs> so, that means, you know, B tech, uh, you know, that means you already studied that in B tech, right. Yeah, microfluid B tech, it has got degree also now. So, for n equal to 2. So, the equation is a quadratic equation C A by C A naught equal to minus 1 plus square root of 1 plus 4 k k c a naught 
t bar divided by 2 k c a naught t bar. So, can you tell me this value? What is k c a naught t bar? 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. Yes. So, k c a naught uh, t bar equal to 0. 0.5, which is also equal to 1 by alpha. Okay, quickly. Yeah, C, C bar by uh, C A by C A naught is 0. 0.732. 7321. And the correspondingly conversion is 0. 0.2679. What is the conclusion? This is X A micro. Correct, no? So this is X A macro, macro fluid. That's what the meaning of that. So, what, what should be the conclusion? Which should be more? Micro is more? Macro is more. Why? Mixing is? Mixing is less. Yeah, Rajeshri, you are trying to say something? Yeah, because for second order or n greater than uh, 1, you have to maintain the concentrations as high as possible. So, here in the pockets, the concentration is maintained as high as possible, but still it has residence time distribution. That means, some packets coming early, some packets coming late, but if you are able to put all these packets again in mixed in a plug flow, you will get still more conversion, because all of them would have converted into same conversion. Whereas, now uh, depending on its residence time distribution 0 to infinity exponential decay, now you are getting this much conversion. If you do now for half order reaction which we are not doing. So, again you will get the reverse one that means, x a micro uh, here for second order for n equal to 2 x a macro is greater than x a micro. Right. So, I think you know the, the at least these things will again reiterate and also reconfirm what we have discussed in earlier uh, B tech and also of course, beginning of this course. Right? I do not know in BTEC anyone, uh, anyone told you like this, you know all that uh, concepts like why we should have for second order more conversions. Okay? That's a, yeah, when you have uh, second orders, you have to maintain the concentrations high and all that. Right? But I think most of our system is only examination oriented. So, but here at least I think you can appreciate now why what is really happened at that time. Now, at least we try to understand that. Okay? Good. So, this is the one. Now, what is the conclusion for degree of segregation or micro mixing? Micro mixing is one of the components of the overall mixing when you are talking about direct use of RTD to estimate conversion. Okay? What was the real problem? Real problem was that other than first order reactions, we have to use either late mixing or early mixing. Late and early are simple humanities words, correct? No, humanities English department words. But how late if someone asks? Technically, you should be able to tell. Now, to define that, how late we have now defined a fluid called macro fluid, which will never mix. That means, I think any uh, uh, number of years it may stay inside the reactor, but it will not mix with other molecules. That is what is the latest one. So, our one, uh, our definition is that as long as it is there inside the reactor if it is not at all reacting with any other molecules or communicating with any other molecules, that is the latest mixing. right? That is the one. How early also is the one, uh, the, the question, because in our, this is a wonderful model, uh, Netherlands. I think it is, I am not able to recall, it must be Kramer's, you know, who told that first. right? Kramer, K R A M E R, Kramer, not Van Kravelin, I think, only Kramer. So, this, this example, this is a wonderful example. And, uh, yeah. So, here we say early mixing and here we have late mixing. And second question early is also answered by saying that we have a microfluid which can mix any the moment, the instant it enters the reactor provided the reactor is allowing mixing. That is why uh, that macro mixing is defined by reactors or uh, reactors define uh, sorry, macro mixing is defined okay, uh, reactors uh, RTD is defined by macro mixing reactors, how late, how early. Because here, no, these two reactors only tell me how late or how early. Because this tells me that the reaction is uh, late, okay? Mixing, not reaction. 
mixing is late and this one early right so that's why the macro mixing which is connected with rtd that will clearly define saying that okay if i have a particular reactor it may allow mixing it may not allow mixing because we have two reactors which one which allows perfect mixing the other allows zero mixing no mixing it will not allow any mixing at all so that is why to suit them we define this microfluid and macrofluid right i think the connection must be clear now right so only to answer this question early and uh, late and early we have defined two extremes one is a fluid which can immediately instantaneously mix provided it is allowed to mix because that mixing is not taking place the moment i put the same uh, microfluid in plug flow reactor because by definition plug flow doesn't allow any mixing mixing means overlapping of edges that is also another uh, way of defining mixing okay overlapping of edges so that means uh, if uh, first year mtech people and second year mtech people if you don't meet them at all so that is one packet and second year mtech is another packet okay this is segregated flow but if you both are allowed to mix so that means your age inside the iit you just join now so that may be 6 six, 6 six months and your seniors will be one and a half months uh, one and a half years one and a half years and now their age is different your age is different but still you are able to mix so that means overlapping of ages is also indirect way of saying that we have mixing what is happening in an ideal mixed flow reactor the moment you have anyway under steady state conditions uh, something is entering something is coming and inside you have zero to infinity residence time distribution the moment you send any fresh batch so now the molecules can mix with any other molecule irrespective of its age correct no so one molecule may go just entered may go and attach with a molecule which is now uh, you know 15 minutes back it entered one the here one minute or one second i said yeah okay one second and 15 minutes back some uh, another molecule uh, entered both may mix together and then just come out okay so that is what is the life expectancy so after they come together then life expectancy is yeah same for them because both of them are living together right that we cannot have a good example in mtex right yeah because even though you this is plug flow that is why you don't have that example right because you have to spend 24 uh, uh, months and your uh, seniors also have to spend 24 months to get the degree okay so that is what that is what is another mix uh, another definition of mixing uh, i think that also i will just quickly uh, discuss very quickly so oh, 10 o'clock huh? yeah so that uh, so this is fine no this is very clear and the lesson from here is don't worry when you have batch reactor or plug flow whether you have macro fluid or micro fluid you don't have to worry so micro mixing macro mixing will not come into picture and all the all things like degree of segregation will not come into picture maximum mixiness will not come into picture all these things will disappear problem is only with mfr right so mfr also micro fluid you have already the equations btech right i mean or mtech beginning right okay and only segregated fluid we have the problem just to imagine that how do you what is happening for the segregated fluid inside the mixed flow reactor that is what what we have defined here so depending on how many fractions are uh, how many packets are spending within this time the time that is maybe 1 minute 2 minutes 3 minutes like that you have the conversion in that fraction like that all fractions are added together this is nothing but sigma right yeah so then you will get the average conversion or average concentration that is left inside the uh, packet okay good so the other one what i thought i will just quickly tell is about uh, uh, okay that i will tell later then uh, the next one we will see, take you know okay that uh, alpha gamma uh, i will tell you know that is age and uh, life expectancy i can tell a little bit later also so okay so what is the next one we had two parameters micro mixing and macro mixing so micro mixing we have discussed now we have taken three reactors okay and then we have discussed first two reactors batch and plug flow no problem at all only mfr segregated fluid is the problem now we have proved that even here macro fluid gives more conversion than micro fluid because micro fluid allows mixing whereas macro fluid doesn't allow mixing so that's why in fact uh, the damkola number what we have taken is very small 0.5 correct no 
yeah if you take a larger dam color numbers then uh, the conversion difference will be slightly uh, much better here we have only how much uh, you said oh this is point this is uh, 27.7 percent the other one is uh, to 26.7 ah uh? uh, yeah that's all that means only you know 0.01 percent right you know oh, 0.01 difference okay 1 percent difference but if you go to larger and larger dam color numbers you will see clear difference right good nice so now then what is the next one uh, that is left now maximum mixing has okay maximum mixing has or what is the other word for this in the bracket macro mixing macro mixing is the word that is given there good yeah let them settle and uh, let them let me also draw this this is the degree of segregation this is uh, segregated maximum mixiness no the other one is this okay this is also of course micro mixing micro mixing and then here, here i have uh, pf below no pf top uh. pf below mf top so this is rtd equal to yeah, i have not written earlier zero and this is rtd equal to zero to infinity okay that is the two extremes and macro mixing is increasing in this direction macro mix mixing okay and i also have all intermediate rtds so all these things are intermediate intermediate rtds But these are the extremes okay good so these are the things only what we are talking now macro mixing macro mixing should define rtd right macro mixing should define rtd that means on this scale i have a zero rtd and on this scale here at this end i have zero to infinite rtd macro mixing is a name that is given to describe rtds okay good so now i will give you uh, the extremes first like uh, because now we are talking about rtd only we are not talking about reactors i will say that i have a system with direct delta function rtd i have a system with direct delta function rtd so what is the meaning of that i idealized i idealized pulse are in the bracket or oh, delta function i can write delta function rtd okay this is case 1 so one extreme we are talking what are the uh, how many kinds of reactors can give me this kind of idealized pulse rtd so we are asking the reverse question if i have plug flow definitely i will get idealized pulse okay right if i have plug flow i am not i am not telling anything about the reactor now i am only telling about i have a pulse what are the systems you can bring under this pulse that can describe rtd what are the other reactors or or all of whatever possible reactors okay that will give me idealized pulse what is the meaning of idealized pulse what is the meaning of idealized pulse not mathematical meaning physical meaning at zero time yeah zero time what do you mean by zero time idealized pulse this we are talking about outlet only we are talking about heat is ha that is the one yes. each and every particle must spend exactly same time i think in this semester i could have 
told the same thing i think thousands of times if someone would have counted okay yeah so here also in a different way only we are trying to tell again so if someone tells me that i have an idealized pulse rtd the meaning is that each and every particle is spending exactly same time so what is the reactor that makes this kind of uh, zero residence time possible now we are asking reverse question if i have plug flow i will definitely get the, this because that is the definition of plug flow right okay savita left uh, no okay good so if i have idealized uh, plug flow then definitely i know that i will get direct delta function why by definition each and every particle should spend exactly same time now i am asking the reverse question i don't know what system i have but someone gave, uh, came and told me that this is the pulse i got from my experiment that is exit exit pulse only what we are talking that means et only right so or otherwise i can also write this is et equal to delta t minus t bar because i cannot write t bar p it can be anything okay so at t bar all the things are coming out so before that or beyond that i think a delta equal to zero good yeah so what is what is that possible which system will give me direct delta function as et yeah only system that is possible here is only plug flow no other system can give because direct delta function thickness thickness equal to zero what is the meaning that means width equal to zero distribution equal to zero so when can you get this unless each and every particle spends exactly same time you will never get that so when each and every particle spending exactly same time what must be the reactor plug flow and if you consider the other one uh, you know you can't say it is uh, it is not a flow system in batch also residence time distributions are zero correct no in batch also now when i have this kind of uh, idealized pulse et equal to delta t minus t bar and do i have to worry about microfluid or macrofluid no. you don't have to worry so that again even in macro mixing scale in this scale this end is very good end for me Tr trouble less uh, end because even in macro mixing scale if i have rtd equal to zero that is et yes. delta t minus t bar again i don't have to worry whether i have microfluid or macrofluid why we have to worry about microfluid or macrofluid microfluid allows mixing whereas macrofluid will not allow mixing right so because it is a plug flow reactor whether i have microfluid macrofluid both should spend exactly same time conversion will be same in that so when i take average microfluid or macrofluid or batch reactor should give me exactly same at least you know number of times when i am telling it should be permanently somewhere absorbed in your brain till you die even if you don't join uh, you know chemical engineering job because i think so many times you heard so i think you cannot forget unless you take a brush and then really rub it out okay i don't think you can reach that with a brush the moment you reach it out again so that is the reason why so many things you know again it is only repetition i told you, you know we are not learning anything new concepts these are the same concepts but by number different number of ways when you are learning your learning will be perfect otherwise only once if you tell only that uh, eka what is that called eka santagraha ah eka santagrahi and i think in uh, sanskrit uh, they call them because only once they hear and then they can remember it is like computer computer is eka santagrahi because one click enough it stores correct no it will never uh, uh, unless you go and delete it is there permanently till computer dies unfortunately our brains are not like that so that is the reason why i have to repeat number of times right okay good so again when you have this delta only pf plug flow reactor will give idealized idealized pulse okay hence macro and uh, micro macro fluid and microfluid give same conversion same conversion in plug flow right so it is a continuous there is no comma there and there is no full stop there is comma hence microfluid macrofluid will give the same conversion excellent okay good 
now uh, you can uh, store this one in a separate file okay in your brain so now next one next question is let us take now exponential decay curve that is other extreme in between i think you know we don't have to do anything okay so now for uh, i am not saying we have mfr i have simply exponential decay curve second one is exponential decay curve right that means i have here et versus t then exponential decay okay so now what is the system which gives me this a huh? plug flow yeah so ideal mixed flow is 1 this is 1 okay ideal mfr any other system gives or only this is possible difficult to answer i will tell you there are many 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 types of systems which will give the same exponential decay right let us see them let us see how many are there few of them we will take and you will appreciate this okay now let me take to create this kind of exponential decay i will take plug flow small one slightly bigger one slightly bigger one slightly bigger one slightly bigger one to match all this so that means i may have a system where still down like this like this, because theoretically this is possible like this any number i can draw so now and uh, again so this is volumetric flow rate this is volumetric flow rate this also gives me same exponential decay correct no because this particular one which is coming very very quickly maybe between 0 to 1 minute is coming here so next one 1 to 2 minutes is coming here right so like that the entire thing i can simulate using any number of parallel pfrs these are parallel pfrs yes see what is your idea idea is only to get that much fraction right so between uh, fraction spending a time between t and t plus delta t so to get that fraction you have to naturally change the flow rates right the idea is whether you are able to get that kind of et versus t graph or not right this is one possibility now you see another uh, very beautiful possibility another possibility is i have ideal plug flow okay this is ideal plug flow so then what i do here is this also gives me same exponential decay correct no because i have a parallel pipe and then i am introducing here which is just coming out where is this point swami here because that is coming very quickly right yeah and also that is coming very quickly at this point the life expectancy of a molecule which is coming here and also its age where two ages are different right this is just entering and it is continuous flow so the other one probably which has entered uh, here would have come and then just joined both will just go out right so that is what is exactly what we call as mixing mixing is whenever you have overlapping of ages i told you, you know example if you are mixing with your seniors then you have mixing and if you are uh, if, if you are not talking to them and then if you don't know also who they are right your uh, mtech class is a one packet and your senior mtech uh, uh, class is another packet that is segregated fluid right so when you mix then it is yeah mixed it is i think you, you cannot say it is maximum mixedness 
maximum mixedness is from 0 to infinity, okay, residence time distributions and 0 to infinity life expectancies, when they overlap each other that is maximum mixedness, that is this corner, that will happen only in case of which reactor? Only MFR for microfluid, that is why it is called maximum mixedness and microfluid will give that kind of thing if I have that kind of overlap between life expectancy and uh, the, uh, what is that other one, uh, age, right. And also that is why again beautifully we say that inside contents of uh, mixed flow reactor is exactly same as outside, outlet. That is why the distribution of residence time inside and residence time distribution outside again exact, otherwise that condition is not fulfilled. Without knowing all this, in the beginning itself what we say in the B-Tech, yeah, assume that temperature is same, con uh, concentration is same, conversion is same inside the reactor and outside the reactor. I also did not tell you at that time, because if I tell you all that at that time, by this time you could have totally confused, okay? unless otherwise you know I, I teach it totally in a different way. Tell the concepts first and then you, you can go, that is another way of telling. So, normally uh, teaching is uh, two styles, one is that you teach generalities and go to specifics, like transport phenomena. You take an average Stokes equation, right? That is the generality. So, any system can be described under average Stokes. Now, depending on which system you are talking throughout some terms, that will be specific, appl uh, applicable to some specific system. Otherwise, you can now start with specific system, assume simplest one with so many assumptions, simplest system, and then remove one by one assumptions later, slowly complicate, so take another system with less assumptions, another system still less assumptions, another system still less assumptions, finally you will end up with whole Navier-Stokes uh, Stokes equation. So, here also we can do the same thing in reaction engineering also, first giving the theory of all this macro mixing, micro mixing and all that, then apply to first order reaction, second order reaction, separately mixed flow, separately plug flow, all that we can, luckily we have only two systems here, plug flow and mixed flow. Okay, good. So, this is the one and not only this, there is another one you can see or if you have some more things also you can tell me. So, this is also a, an ideal PFR, PFR is always ideal, PFR. Now, you can see how nicely this can also be managed. I will now send the flow like this and withdraw The system also gives me exponential decay. So, what is that we have learnt there? Nothing, huh? that may be the truth, <laughs> but truth hurts. Correct, no, Sushmita? Given the RTD, we cannot say which system. Yeah, given this exponential decay, if I block all these you can never say what system you have. That is what exactly <coughs> this also tells me. The residence time distribution curve for this is simply like this. Correct, no? E t versus t. But now, if I give you this one and ask you to calculate conversion, you can take some system with early mixing, you can take some system with late mixing. Okay? Good. Can you tell me in that four systems, which one will be early uh, mixing, which one will be late mixing? Ideal? Ideal MFR is early mixing, but you are forgetting another condition. Yeah, that also then you have to say, now you see, you are becoming more and more knowledgeable, no? So, <laughs> definitely yes. Okay? Because the question comes when she says that, uh, 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 ideal MFR will give me perfect mixing, it will not give if you have microfluid. So, now we have to say that if we have microfluid, this system will give me. Okay. Let us take first uh, microfluid and then discuss four systems. Okay. So, which one will give me uh, early mixing if I take microfluid? This will gives me microfluid, this gives this one. Latest mixing. No mixing. 
okay so here microfluid behaves as if macrofluid so that is the one so this one it is uh, yeah micro uh, i mean uh, mixing uh, early mixing or late mixing here yeah why because these streams are mixing with the other uh, flow where they have different re residence time distributions right so this one is early mixing okay for microfluid and this one late mixing because inside you are not disturbing at all you are only simply taking out the streams and this is an ideal plug flow right this is an ideal plug flow simply you are withdrawing without disturbing these are all theoretical this is what i told you that jewettering paper that fellow really thought i say i really appreciate those minds why i think at least 1 millionth of that kind of mind is not there for me also really because they they simply sit down and then try to think and you know most of those uh, those times most of the papers were single other because of that let me see okay most of <laughs> okay so most of the papers were single uh, other papers because he is the only person sitting and thinking that's all and he gets the idea and then maybe checking with friends and all that whether there is logical error okay and if there is no error then finally write a paper and then send it wonderful so that is why but we have to know still uh, uh, we don't have to worry for this kind of ideal thing because when i have microfluid right then i have to identify whether i have late mixing or early mixing and if it is late mixing or here segregated flow this is segregated flow this is segregated flow then i have to use this equation right and in this case and in this case i have early mixing right so here i have an equation btec if it is first order or second order third order you know that, that normal v by f not equal to x a by minus r a that is for microfluid please remember that that is for only microfluid so i can find out that that's no problem at all good so this is the one and uh, yeah okay so now we have seen exponential decay for any other rtd for any other rtd it's not that easy to find out but there is wonderful information which is not useful but in information is good useful in the sense that you know you cannot use them for calculating conversions because they are uh, very very complicated so that's why people are uh, it's not popul popular those papers there are few papers lawrence peer also gave in his uh, chapter and any kind of intermediate rtd is that means some late mixing and some early mixing okay some late mixing and some early mixing so these two can be managed using only these two systems so this is early mixing this is late mixing right so that means let me say that i have few packets and few individual molecules this individual molecules will give me early mixing packets will give me latest mixing that is possible so in a real system how do i know how many are there how many packets are there i don't know but if there are really some packets and then some molecules now you imagine this model you see individual molecules will give me early mixing that is microfluid and uh, packets will give me the late mixing so you take this is 30% this is 70% and then calculate overall conversion right like either parallel you can put or series you can put because these two systems either series in parallel and then you try to calculate by a fitted parameter called the percentage of uh, 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 in the same number of packets and the number of individual molecules in terms of some percentage okay 10% of the fluid is in packets 90% is in individual molecules that means where are you on the scale where are you 10% uh, i said 10% packets 90% individual molecules ah maximum only 10% packets and 90% so similarly now you take this one as 90% this is as 10% and you calculate conversion do the experiment find out whether that conversion is same as this if that is same by hook or crook you got the values so then it must be same that's what what we confirm so that is why 
Um, other than the extremes, we are not doing anything, but you should know how the extremes also should be manipulated using only these two systems. So, this is ideal plug flow and ideal plug flow, but this gives me early mixing, that gives me late mixing, but both the systems I can manage such that my external, uh, my actual conversion is matched with some adjustment between these two things. You know, flow also is a parameter, how much is going in that, how much is going that, that is one parameter and uh, fraction also is one parameter. So, both you can just try and then try to find out. It is very difficult, that is why none of us are trying to do that, but knowing information there is nothing wrong. Okay? Good. So, that is what. So, this is what uh, is completed uh, RTD, but only thing I just wanted to tell you was the, the other one. Uh, what is that? Uh, I left it because I think some late comers may also use this. I think I will again. So, this is clear, no? So, we have defined two components of mixing. One is micro mixing, one is macro mixing. Okay? Micro mixing gives me degree of segregation. I have to worry only when I have mixed flow reactor and that gives me macro fluid and micro fluid some difference whether it is first order, second order, uh, sorry, whether it is uh, second order or half order, for first order it is same, absolutely no problem. Okay? That is why in 6 chapter of Leon's Peel, we say that if you have first order, any order of uh, you know either plug flow and mixing flow for n equal to 1. So, the reason is this, good. And then we came to maximum mixing as the scale P f and M f and this R T D equal to 0 distribution we discussed, that is possible only for P f r. right? So, P of R means again I do not have to worry about whether I have micro fluid or macro fluid or segregated flow or I know early mixing or late mixing because both will give me exactly the same conversion. And uh, in uh, exponential decay when I have, I can have any number of possibilities, but you have to identify them which is late mixing, which is early mixing. And if it is the latest mixing that is possible, we have this equation. right? And if uh, yeah. If this is MFR alone, we already did it, it is B tech. In between any RTD, if I take, in between any RTD I take, Jewettering has given that equation, that equation I will just write, we do not, we are not deriving that. That equation I will give you, yeah, any RTD, okay. uh, this I can remove. So, now we have seen two extremes, but any RTD in between any RTD between P f and M f equation given by Zweitring. Uh, I sent that Zweitring uh, equation to all of you. This is d C a by d lambda equal to minus R A, directly he has calculated conversions, because our idea is direct use of R T D estimation you know, to estimate conversion. Okay, plus C A minus C A naught E lambda by 1 minus F lambda. So, this is the equation and the boundary condition is lambda equal to infinity C i equal to C a naught, lambda equal to life expectancy. That is why the boundary condition lambda equal to infinity means, do I know what is the life expectancy in a general reactor when the molecules are entering? Do I know that value? But definitely it is not 0, correct no? Definitely it is not 0, because it has to enter the reactor and then come out, unless you have 100 percent bypass. If 100 percent bypass means you do not have any reactor, because it is not, it's supposed to go to reactor, it is not going into the reactor. So, that is why we take that value, but lambda is, uh, lambda equal to infinity is the large, one, one of the largest value you have to take and then slowly solve that, that is why I told you it is not very popular. So, which value you have to take and then solve this particular equation and for first order, yeah, this is uh, E lambda is again you know the exit age distribution function and F lambda, but in terms of life expect expectancies. In fact, I told you in the beginning for E t, it is also a probability, a, a probability function, correct? No, you measured there at the outlet, 
saying that the fraction of material coming between T and T plus delta T is E T dt. The same thing I can also tell in the beginning itself. Correct, no? So, this is a probability. The probability is that this E T delta T, the fraction of material which is coming, which will come between time T, T and T plus delta T will be E T dt. But where you are telling, normally we take only at the exit because we would like to calculate conversions. But same thing can be imagined in the beginning also as if that much fraction is going to come only between second minute and third minute or fourth minute and fifth minute, sixth minute or seventh minute. So, that is why. So, this is not a difficult problem to understand. So, that is why, but this is 1 minus, uh, yeah, what is 1 minus uh, la, uh, f uh, lambda? I lambda. Okay, of course, t bar i lambda will come there. Okay. So, anyway, that we do not uh, write normally. So, this is the one. For first order also, you can solve and you will get immediately uh, for, for first order MFR, first order uh, PFR, one can easily solve this. Okay. So, that means minus R A into K into C A and what is E lambda and F lambda for uh, ideal CSTR? You know the equations, that equations we can correspondingly put and then one can solve. Okay. Good. So, that lambda to understand a little bit, then a uh, little bit, Zwettering defined uh, a function called residence time. Okay, I think I will write, uh, okay. Uh, let me write residence time, residence time t, okay, can be imagined as alpha plus lambda this is lambda only no gamma gamma is this yeah. okay alpha plus lambda where t is the residence time that means any molecule which has entered definitely will spend some time to come out let us say uh, it has come out uh, in 5 minutes so somewhere 2 minutes before if you would, if if i would have looked into the reactor then i would have seen that it has 3 minutes age alpha and remaining 2 minutes is life expectancy. Again, easiest way of understanding is our own age. The moment we come to this world, our age starts. So, uh, and life expectancy we do not know, assuming that a person is living only for uh, 45 years. So, when you look at him at 20 years, life expectancy we can now say that 25 years left. But I only in ideal plug flow, every particle will have and yeah, uh, every age will be correctly associated with the lambda. That means, definitely I know, if a molecule is spending 1 minute, total is 10 minutes. So, 9 minutes definitely that will spend. And I also know that, if a molecule spent already age 3 minutes, so we will have again another 7 minutes to go. But all other real systems, you can never expect this lambda. right? So, that is why what he says is, if you imagine that, I have the reactor at this point, right? just before entering alpha equal to 0. Correct, no? Just about to enter age, it has not yet entered, just 0 plus the uh, uh, age equal to 0. And when it is just about to leave, lambda equal to 0. Correct, no? So, at this point, you have alpha equal to t. t is the residence time. And at this point, alpha 0, you have life, life expectancy. We do not know how much, but still you have the life expectancy. What is says mixing is, it is a kind of transformation from, that means, all the molecules alpha equal to 0 here. All the molecules have alpha equal to 0. So, I can call this, there is a uniform environment of molecules with alpha equal to 0. Right? Uniform environment. All molecules will experience the same thing. That is what uniform. Okay? Good. At this point, now, I have different ages, but life expectancy equal to 0. So, that means, again in this corner, we have another uniform uh, environment called age. Correct, no? Because age, it is already come out, alpha. Alpha, of course, alpha equal to t, because residence time. Right? So, he says that some kind of transformation is taking place from this uniform environment, where alpha equal to 0, to life expectancy equal to 0. So, if it is as quickly as possible, 
if the transformation is as quickly as possible, then we have what is called, it is taking as quickly as possible, we have what is called maximum mix energy. That is MFR. Okay? No, no, no. My, macro, micro mixing is a overall scale. We are talking about only this point, maximum mixingness. Okay? You know, you are, once more. So, I have a uniform environment here where alpha equal to, yeah, where alpha equal to 0 and I have another uniform environment where lambda equal to 0. This is 0 life expectancy and this is 0 age uh, environment. So, now, if this uh, 0 age in, uh, environment is quickly going to lambda 0 environment, then it must be because of maximum mixedness. Otherwise, it cannot go, no, if it immediately taking place. Otherwise, if it is plug flow, what will happen? That at least you understand. If it is plug flow, each and every uh, particle must spend exactly time t. Okay? We are talking about individual molecule, time t. Right? It is not t bar, it is time t. But t bar equal to ta, ta, time t for plug flow reactor. So, that is what. So, that means, in any other reactor, if the transformation is very fast, if it is the quickest means, that should happen only maximum mixedness. And that is possible only for microfluid and MFR. Okay? That is why he, he has used this lambda in his equation. He discussed this first and then derived this equation and the derivation is given in Fogler, which I am not asking, but is only just for your information. Okay? For the examination, you do not have to worry. So, this lambda life expectancy is uh, you know, from here. That means, if I have alpha 0, T is lambda. Right? Here, alpha 0, T is lambda at this point. And at this point, when I have lambda 0, T equal to alpha. So, from this lambda transformation to alpha transformation is, if it is very quick, then we have what is called maximum mixedness. If it is delayed as much as possible, excellent, that is the other extreme segregation. Okay? As much as possible means, I mean within the reactor that is not happening, then you have segregation. So, based on that, he has now derived this equation and that equation is only for your information. Good. I think this is over and there is a very nice problem given uh, in uh, Leon Spiel. Uh, that is a beautiful problem in third edition, second edition also it is there. That is problem number 16.1, uh, 16.1. That problem, I think all of you can go through that, but I think there is, it is very easy to understand because we already discussed most of it there. The problem is something like this. Okay? That is a very beautiful problem. Huh? Leon Spiel, that problem is really wonderful problem. Right? So, the problem is given as, this is 16.1 I told you, problem. It is not problem actually, it is a solved example. Example. The problem is given like this, E t curve, E t versus t. And we have here the exponential decay. Yeah, exponential. Right? Yeah. So, the, of course, area equal to 1 and all that. Somewhere here I have t and this is t bar by 2. Okay? What are the systems you may, you know, this is only exponential decay what I have. I know, this is only E t versus t curve only what I have. Now, what are the possibilities I can imagine here? The first one is ideal P of R 1, 1 A is, sorry, not ideal, mixed flow by P of R, that is 1, B is just reverse, okay? just reverse and uh, the same thing here I have, okay? the, the, you see RTD again cannot differentiate whether you have microfluid or macrofluid. So, this can be only for microfluid. Okay. Same two schemes I can also have for macrofluid. C is D is
right? Yeah, but I have to show here packets. Okay. So that is the one. And is there any other possibility? Like exponential decay. Just now we have, I have drawn earlier. E. I have yeah, I have P of R. Okay. Now I also have parallel P of R. So like it, it goes that is also possible, no? right? Yeah, these are the possible uh, schemes. Now, out of all these, which one is the latest uh, mixing, which one is the earliest mixing? D is the latest mixing. D is the latest mixing. Ah. D. Ah, okay. The next one? That is all. Only one? C also is the latest mixing. No, no. No, no. Huh? No. Why do you say no, no? Someone is saying yes, yes. I will ask them, why do you say yes, yes? See, again you are forgetting definition. By definition of so micro macro fluid, it can never mix. mix. Okay. So here I have macro fluid. Here I have macro fluid. So both are late mixing or early mixing? That is late mixing. And what about here? It is definitely late, late mixing. mixing. And we don't have to care whether that's why we have not written uh, separately for micro fluid, macro fluid. Either macro fluid or micro fluid, both will give me same. exactly same thing. So, that is why all these three, we have to use segregated model. What is segregated model? This equation. This equation. So, if you know E t and you have second order reaction, you can you solve it beautifully. And the first two A and B here, early mixing because it is microfluid, but this is not equivalent to maximum mixiness. Please remember that maximum mixiness will be only for this one, but you are, you also have some other non-mixing component. Correct? No, uh, you you have a plug flow in between, so that is why this is early mixing and this is fairly late mixing. Why we say fairly late mixing compared to what? Yeah, compared to these three. This is the latest mixing possible. This is late, but not as late as this, right? Because here I have plug flow, then I have mixed flow where mixing is taking place there at a molecular level. So, this is the wonderful problem. Please go through that and very nicely solved, simple. And these two solutions already we have in the last class we have given uh, x macro, x micro and all that. Okay? So, this we have and uh, yeah. So, now we summarize. I, I requested Kannan, okay, whether you can tolerate if I send these people uh, 15, 20 minutes late. He said no problem. Okay? Kannan class. Hmm. You, you are? You disappear. <laughs> Whose class is yours? Huh? Lizzie Philip. You would like to go? Not now. I have class. Oh, then you have to go anyway. Okay, then uh, anyway, the, so if you want, you can leave now or not now after we have test After five minutes or so, you can go, no problem. Okay, now let me tell the summary of what we have done. Micro mixing and macro mixing. Okay, PFR. Maximum mixiness, maximum mixiness or segregated flow. Yeah, so both will give me okay, microfluid plus macrofluid. 
macrofluid behaves behaves same okay then mfr again we have a maximum mixedness okay that is mainly microfluid yeah this is normal behavior normal behavior normal behavior is not like your btec behavior okay yeah design design equations derived in btec yeah okay <coughs> then we have this one is segregated fluid segregated flow okay macro fluid this is one extreme correct no that's why you are assuming that you know segregated fluid is one extreme okay one extreme equations derived in mtec okay good now yeah uh, yeah this is mfr and uh, in general segregated fluid if i have segregated flow you have a design expression 0 to infinity ca by ca bar uh, batch you know et dt so segregated flow any rtd any rtd any rtd you can use that equation absolutely no problem that is uh, 0 to infinity ca by ca bar by ca not equal to 0 to infinity C A by C A not batch E T D T. Okay, so here this is a uh, uh, design equation derived in M Tech. M Tech at I A T M. That is important <laughs> because you may forget where you have done your M Tech letter. Possible, no? What is that, Sir Ram Krishna? You are very angry. <laughs> Sir Ram Krishna, angry, eh? Oh, that's why. <laughs> no, okay, good. Uh, or of course, M Tech IIT Delhi or IIT Madras for him. Okay, so now maximum mixedness. Maximum mixedness. Any RTD, yeah. Where did you learn something? Anything about this? Maximum mixedness. Any RTD? Jewetering. Jewetering equation <laughs> mentioned in M Tech IIT. Why M Tech M S M Tech M S P H D? So that's right. M Tech C H D. Can we get any name? Oh, I think Arya also is there. Where is Arya? Oh, she is there. Okay. Okay. Jewetering. Okay. M Tech we have written so M Tech. Okay. Yeah. Jewetering equation. That's all. Good. Yeah. See, uh, when compared to jewetering equation, there is another technique which you have already done. You may not know that you have done that already. Okay. When you have microfluid. there is another way of doing things what is that what is that before this uh, direct uh, use of rtd what is that we have done what did we do there uh, what is the fluid we assume microfluid it was micro so if it is macro fluid doesn't matter you have a beautiful equation zero to infinity that one okay if it is micro fluid you have both the extremes pfr you know mfr you know in between rtd is difficult but oh jewetering a uh, jewetering equation i thought still it is there jewetering equation is valid but if you want to avoid jewetering equation go to axial dispersion model or go to tanks in series model or go to cstr with the dead space uh, dead space and bypass and also number of tanks you know you can have three tanks with uh, dead space and bypass 
one after the other. So, that will cover, but that is a two step process, but this is a direct use of RTD. Geotering equation is direct use of RTD, that is why we called zero parameter model, there is no parameters there in geotering equation. Whereas, if you go to dead space and uh, bypass, you have two parameters and if you take three tanks in series like that, then you will have another another parameter. So, n is a parameter and uh, the other two also parameters. Okay? So, that is what. So, and uh, the equations which we can write now, uh, I think I should have listened to Rahul because he was telling sir, we will take Xerox and give, but I thought you know, let me write here. Okay. Yeah, conver uh, equations for for Kannan uh, students or people, I think you know, students do not worry, I think he said he accepted. And last night I called him. Equations for single fluid. Yeah, okay, one for microfluid, please take this. For microfluid, PF or MF, any kinetics. Oh, otherwise, I think I will distribute this one to a huh? uh, later, but this is only summary again. I think I will distribute. Ah, tomorrow also I can distribute. Okay, I think we will take today. Tomorrow design class also I can distribute. It is only just uh, summary because I have another, uh, other things to do. So that's why. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You give, you can give this one. Uh, this one. This one. I think. Some here. Some here. Some cartoons. Yeah. And also now I think we can give sweets, no? What? Uh, oh, this I have to explain. Yeah. This I have to explain, and then afterwards, huh? This is two pages. What happened? <laughs> Clapping outwards. <laughs> okay, you got this now or what? Okay, everyone got this? Yeah, now you see, we will explain. The first one, stage one, okay. stage one is input kinetics, ideal contacting because you know only MFR and CSTR, uh, sorry PFR and uh, CSTR okay. and you see this guy is very happy, very bright eyes and then saying that ha, I know reactor design fully, but I did not, uh, it did not work, X A is different and now started weeping, why, why, why and you see lot of tears and bottom also there are lot of tears there. Okay, so that is one. Then you can see when he thought that you know ha, I know reactor design fully. The color up and all that is there. <laughs> you notice that? <laughs> okay, the color color also up there. Yeah, so that is the one. And next one you see afterwards again he thought that non-ideal parameters. You know, a bulb came and then uh, thought that non-ideal parameters is one. Uh, you know, these parameters may affect the conversion and you introduced them, he introduced them, recirculation, dead zones, axial mixing, channeling, bypass and all that. Because he was confident second time also, again color up there. Because you know, he thought that he will, it will work. So, then again second time also, he did not get same conversion. Then, uh, you know, did not work, X A again is different, Y, Y started weeping, lot of water and all that. Then again bulb came, then he thought that he has to now take into account, microfluid and microfluid, that he has taken. So, then I think he is okay uh, in the third stage, because the color gone by that time, because all pride has gone, <laughs> because thought that there is no use of being proud, <laughs> no use of being very proud and then started, uh, uh, okay, uh, introduced microfluid and macrofluid and that also did not work, because he does not know there is early mixing and late mixing. Okay. So, finally, in the last one, he has introduced kinetics, RTD, microfluid, macrofluid, late mixing, early mixing, everything. Then his eyes also got stunned. Now it is straight looking, you know, no happy and all that. Huh? Ah, that also now you see, 
from the beginning to the end by the time he came to fourth uh, stage <laughs> no hair only solid head that's all <laughs> so this uh, this cartoon will definitely tell you you know so beautiful things now okay and uh, uh, i thought just keep it with you and this is very nice so that you know you will have uh, some uh, you won't forget you know, if you look at a cartoon so what are the so important things that one